Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to create this video. Hey guys, look at my mask! As you see, we have a video of a guy who is just playing around. Hey guys, and look at my mask! Head, and we add a 3D as mask. And we create this mask, and it looks exactly just like Hey guys, look at my So, first of all, you, what you need to have is a video. Hey and guys, look at my sure back. You have trackable features in your moving object. <coughs> in my case, it's the head of the person. So I'm gonna track his head. And you need to make sure that this trackable object is not moving like. You can, you can press the points, you can make the points on the person's face, but then you will need to clean this if you need. And you need to make sure that the points is not in this mouse part and in like its point is not moving. And this is our guy and my head is completely stable and it's not Hey guys, look at my mask! So this is good track. Uh, first, I'm gonna convert this video to image sequence so that my uh, tracking software is easily imported. I'm gonna use Syntax for this purpose. You can use whatever software you have. This is the Syntax 2011. Okay. okay, so first let's convert this video to the image sequence. I'm going to use JPEG sequence. Let's open After Effects. And drag and drop this to the project. Let file import it. And close this home. Drag this file and drop here. <coughs> okay, just you can increase the sharpness if you need to, but in my case, I guess it's okay. And let's press Ctrl and M. And or you can go here, add to render queue. And from here we can choose the file format we want to export, in my case it's JPEG. And let's make it high quality. And press OK and choose where to save. Let's create a folder. Let's press render and wait until it's rendered. Okay, let's wait a little bit. Okay, we can close our After Effects now, and now our JPEGs are ready. Now we can import these images to the Syntize. So we open Syntize and press this button, New File. We choose the folder where we save our files. Choose any of them. Press Open, and make sure that your frame rate is right. In my case it's 25 and I press OK. Wait until it's cached. So while it's getting wide it means the entire program sending these images to the RAM. Now we can move easily from frame to frame. 
Let's press play. And let's see it's too fast. Let's, to fix it, we go to the view and choose normal speed. And now it's normal. So first we need to do, what we need to do is rotate this part because we only need the head of the guy. If we don't do the roto, it's gonna automatically track every place which is suitable. Uh, and we don't need background to be tracked or any other place. You can use your manual features, but it would take a long time and it's not necessary for our this exact this project. So let's rotate and use auto tracker. So basically the default version is set to camera, spline 1 and camera. We choose it to be garbage. So first, by default, nothing is gonna be tracked. And then we're gonna create our own roto mask. So just press around the image, around the part you want to track. In my case, it's just a head like a hat so I'm gonna animate from time to time my mask and I make sure that the spline doesn't go this spline always covers the head uh, hat until the end Make sure that you have as few dots as possible because with each dot you're gonna multiply your work. So always try to have less points in your mask. If you 
press right button or if you press anywhere near it's gonna start a new spline to fix it just press right mouse button to delete this new spline okay we're nearly done now we're gonna test it with our auto mask is okay and make sure that it's always stays inside the rotor inside our mask and if not we just fix it within our timeline Okay, I guess our rotor is ready. Now we just select our second spline which we created now and choose camera one. And by that we say this program that we need only track this inside the mask. Okay, so go back to this window and choose run auto tracker. Just wait until it tracks. Okay, as you see, we have a few tracks here. Now what we need to do is delete the tracks which is uh, on the background, such as this one. Just delete this one. Just go through the timeline and see which trackers by accident went to the background. Just these ones. We find them and we delete them. If you decide to use your own tracker, future tracks, make sure that you have enough points to solve your track. Okay. Now, when we finish cleaning our trackers, we're gonna solve the camera. So we press solve, and it goes, and we have solve here. We have 0.7 error and it's I guess okay and now let's check the camera and because by default it's camera track our trackers stay here and our camera moves but we don't want that we want our camera to stay still and these trackers to move so first uh, let's refine our camera track and then we're gonna object track features of the syntax. Okay, so let's go to the calculate part. Oh no, let's go to the lens distortion part, lens tab and choose calculate distortion and go to the calculate, choose refine and click these two buttons to make sure that it's slow but should solve. Let's track again, choose go. Now it's 0.73 actually we can use this but let's see what else we can do okay let's clean our trackers we go to the track menu and choose clean up trackers and here we say it program says us we have 
103 trackers and three of them use our high error trackers. So we select find and fix. So we delete these trackers. So let's solve this again. And now our error resolution is 0.5. And this it's fine track now. And as we see all our trackers are still are stuck in our hat. Okay, good. So let's do it right. Now we need to add objects to our scene. So we go to the short menu and add moving object. Okay. After adding moving object, we see that our camera is installed because we need to solve additional camera for our object. And here we can change our tabs between the object and camera. So we have object which is not solved and we have camera which is solved as you see from this work. So what we need to do is go to the camera and press this delete button to delete all the keys from our camera. Oh, it says us we need to switch the refine mode to automatic. And so we need to select our camera and press delete. And we see our tracking is gone. But our trackers are still here. So we press Ctrl A to select all the trackers. And now we need to assign them to our object. For doing this, we select all the trackers by pressing Ctrl and A. And we go to this coordinates tab. While they are still selected, we go here and choose object. And it says if we want to clone or move. If we press yes, we're gonna clone, and if we say no, we're gonna move them. And we want to move them to the object, so we press the no. Now we go to the object panel and press and go. And we say no trackers. Oh, yes, we need to go to the camera and choose disabled. Because we don't want a camera to solve. Now we go to the object and press solve. And now we see if we press play, our camera stands still and the object is moving. And have a look here, and you can see exactly our object is moving just like the hat. And now it's finished, nearly finished here, let's stop it to the front. Okay, we go to the save tab and we save our project. Okay, and now let's export our solve. We go to the file and choose export and from here you can see a bunch of versions which you can export I'm gonna use three Max and it's so I'm choosing this one Max script version 6 or later and let's export here just press OK you don't need to do anything here And here are my script file which we can use in the next part of the tutorial. So